I was initially drawn to the cause of digital rights because uh, new technologies were throwing up all sorts of issues that I could see as someone who was a fan of new technologies uh, would have an impact on key rights like free of ex freedom of expression, privacy, freedom of association. And yet it didn't feel like legislators were really paying much attention, either because they didn't understand the technology or because um, they were too sort of captured by corporate interests or by the interests of um, the companies putting forward the technology. And there just seemed to be a real gap um, in uh, people who are able to speak for the public interest on, this, on these subjects. The reason the Open Rights Group is a really important organisation is because it represents the public interest in a lot of debates where um, if the, the org weren't there, um, you know, the public's voice wouldn't get heard. The thing that I'm really passionate about is copyright and intellectual property reform. And when I was working for org, I noticed pretty quickly that uh, being invited to debates to discuss things like the Digital Economy Bill and to discuss things like fair use rights. There were a lot of rights holders at the table, but there weren't that many people, um, apart from the occasional sort of library representatives and uh, consumers organisations that were speaking up for users of this new technology who needed exceptions and limitations to copyright law and um, people who were using the internet who were threatened by like copyright enforcement um, directives and things like the Digital Economy Act. I think people should join the Open Rights Group because it um, gives the public a voice um, at uh, the negotiating tables for new laws which govern new technologies that otherwise wouldn't be heard. Um, the Open Rights Group over the years has made really uh, great you know, has, has, has achieved really great campaign successes on things from ever, everything from things like electronic voting um, and copyright term extension at the very beginning to the pressure that we see being applied um, to make sure that legislation like the Digital Economy Act, even though it passes, is still put up to like the proper levels of scrutiny um, before it's properly enacted. And for five pounds a month, I think that's a bargain. And that's why you should join org. <laughs> <laughs>